Hey guys. So today I am playing around with the Soft Glam palette again. I have some errands to run and some things to do, so I thought I would do my makeup. I was actually really inspired by this color called Sultry in the Soft Get Glam palette, this one right here. I was just looking through my palettes trying to figure out what I was going to do for the day and that was just like calling my name. I haven't done like a bronzy, taupey, purpley type of look in a hot minute. So I went real sparkly with it and I really love how it turned out. I think it's super pretty. If I don't mention or show a product and you're interested in what I'm using, please check the bottom bar below. I do list the tools that I use as well as all the products that I put on my face. So if you have any questions about that, please check the bottom bar. I also link my social media and a referral link for BoxyCharm if you'd like to check that out. So if you'd like to see how I get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so we are digging right in with the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh and the Kane and Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer. And then I'm going in with foundation, the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Yukon and the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation in Classic Ivory. And I'm going to put that on my face with a beauty blender. And I do like to mix it on the back of my hand first. I think it gives me more of an even color than if I did it separate on my face. And then with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Light 1.6, I'm going to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. I'm gonna blend that out with a beauty blender and I'm setting that with a translucent powder. With the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, I'm first taking Burnt Orange with a Morphe M511. And I'm gonna blend that into the crease and I'm gonna try to buff this out pretty far. And then with the Morphe M441 and Sienna, I'm gonna buff that color pretty low in the crease. I wanna keep it uh, pretty dark, but also pretty low. And then with the same Morphe M511, I'm gonna blend that out with orange soda. Now for the lid, I'm taking the MAC 242 and I'm packing on that sultry color and I am spraying my brush with some MAC Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna go in with that same M441 and I'm gonna blend that out using the shade Sienna. And I just wanna make sure that there are no harsh lines and that there's a nice seamless blend in between those shades. Then quickly I'm going in with the Morphe R39 and I'm just gonna make sure that that is buffed very closely into the crease. And then with the same MAC 242, I'm taking the shade Rose Pink. And just to give it a little pop in the inner corner, I thought that was actually a really pretty addition. Oh, Joe Morosky. Oh, the weatherman. Where are my ninja fans? My American Ninja Warrior, do you guys watch it? I'm a huge Joe Morosky fan, as you can see. Ian got that for me for Christmas. So now I'm going in with the Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade four. And I'm gonna fill in my brows as I normally would. I didn't show it, but I did use the Browvo Conditioning Primer. Um, I think I put that on before I did my foundation. I like that, I think it is helping my brows grow a little bit, but it's kind of crunchy, it dries kind of crunchy. Now I'm taking the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Concealer in Light and Fair. I'm putting light on that spot on my forehead. And then on my chin, I'm going in with the shade Fair. And then with the Kylie Jenner Kylie Cosmetics Concealer, I'm using the shade Bone to conceal under my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, and under, under my nose. And then I'm gonna blend that out with a beauty blender. Thank you. 
to set. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. I absolutely love this stuff. I use it every day. I think it's very comparable to the Lori Mercier. I think it's a great drugstore loose setting powder. Then I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25. I freaking love this stuff. It is the perfect color. I think it just makes my skin look like it is real and not fake, like foundation. Then with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, I'm using that um, more cool tone shade to contour with the NARS Eda brush. And then with the Morphe, R2, I believe this is. I'm using the orange or shade two bronze. Then this large shader brush from BH Cosmetics. These don't have names on them. I got them in a set. I'm using that middle shade to contour. And then I'm taking the Morphe R10, I believe this is. And I love this brush. I got it in the Jaclyn Hill Favorites collection. I'm using the middle to I'm using whatever shades I showed you to brighten up my face. And I do like to put that under my contour, cleans it up. Then I'm blending it out with another one of those BH Cosmetic brushes that aren't labeled, but I just call this a large duo fiber brush. Then for blush, I'm taking the Tarte Blush Bazaar palette and my Luxie 504 Large Angle Brush. And highlight the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Marizi highlighter. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. It is bright, but not too much. I think it blends really nicely into the skin, and it doesn't matter what color you are. It always looks good. Putting this on the cheekbones, down the nose, a little on the forehead, and then I'm also highlighting the brow and inner corner with this. And then with another BH Cosmetics brush, I have no idea. I call it like a small crease brush. I'm using that with the burnt orange shade under my eye. And then with a Morphe M432, I am taking that Sienna shade and I am putting that really close to the lower lash line. And then with a Morphe E18 and that burnt orange shade, I'm blending all of that out. And just with a little bit of orange soda, just to make sure all of that is seamless and blended, I'm taking it on that first crease brush. Now with the NYX Wonder Pencil in light, I'm putting that in my waterline just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. And then for mascara, I'm using the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara and the Tarte Tardius Mascara. And I am packing it on, y'all, like super heavy. Sorry for the lash glue on my lashes still. Love this stuff for the lower lash line. And then I do kind of feather it out a little bit with the Tardius Mascara. It has more of a brush for like a feather as opposed to more of like a clumpy type of look. For lips, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in Coco K. And I'm lining my lips and then filling them in completely with this color. For the lip color, I'm using the Jouer Lip Cream in the shade Blush. And then lastly, I'm gonna spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And then I'm taking my Beauty Blender and I'm gonna blend all those powders together. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think it turned out like really pretty. My contour is a little intense, but you know, what are you gonna do? It is what it is. I love the lip color with this eyeshadow. I hope the camera is giving the sparkle some justice because it is just like super pretty. And I really like how the look turned out. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I upload. And it really helps me out if you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. What type of things are you up to this school year or for the rest of the year? Do you have anything planned or any trips? 
We are going to Rocky Point in September and I can't wait. Those of you who are not familiar with Rocky Point, it is in Mexico. It's in the California Baja. So you have the California border on the west side and it comes down and then you have the Baja in here. And Rocky Point's kind of in here. It's right underneath Arizona, so it's only about a four hour drive and it is my most favorite place in the entire world. I love it. So I'm super excited about that. And then one of my best friends is getting married in October and we're visiting my niece in November. I just can't wait for the rest of the year. So please comment below what you guys have going on. Well, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy buys. Love me, I say, only for the only love my bed and my mama, I'm sorry.